Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Not all the homes I cleared out were close to Washington, D.C. In fact, one house we worked in August of 2013 was 44 miles north of my home. A realtor wanted me to clear out a 2,200 square foot home built in 1983. It took my helper and I three days to pack three carloads of charity items and meet a man who would take out the acorn chairlift bolted to the stairs and pay the estate $100 to take it away so he could resell it. This man was about my age and came out two to three times a year to homes I worked in because that's how many chairlifts of one kind or another I ran across that needed to be taken out before the house could go on the market. My helper and I learned to avoid him while he bent over unscrewing the bolts from the stairway as his pants didn't fit him correctly and we saw a butt crack every time he bent over. I never asked him how many homes he went into each week, but I'm sure we weren't the only ones getting to see all that white skin. On the final day, furniture like black molded plastic rocker, an adult tricycle and hurricane lamps were sent to auction. I also included a photo that I took from the backyard as the view was so peaceful. The next house was in Virginia, but only 28 miles from my home. I did charge an hour's travel time each day because even coming home from Annandale, Virginia at 3.30 on the Capitol Beltway usually took more than an hour. The daughter hired me after a lawyer referred her to me. She was living in Maryland and handicapped. She wanted to keep some furniture and china, but the rest went to Quinn's Auction House in Falls Church, Virginia. You may have seen the vice president, Matt Quinn, on Antiques Roadshow over the years. There was a Seth Thomas mantle clock and Madame Alexander dolls. The Howdy Doody doll I had only seen photographs of before this one. There were children's books, a lot of Nancy Drew mysteries. There was a painting of a Swiss chalet that had been brought back from a trip to Switzerland and blue glass items, some by Blanco which has been in operation in West Virginia since 1893. I took a photo of their pretty love seat and a slipper chair. In the kitchen was a KitchenAid mixer, which was old, but in great shape. There was an upright piano and Villa Roy and Bosch plates of girls feeding geese and chicks. I particularly like the frame art with the bunnies. I assessed this job on the last day of 2012, and we began work a few weeks later. The daughter wanted to keep half of the blue glass in two place settings of Noritake China, but we still had six place settings to send to auction. My helper took boxes of charity to Treasure Trove, which was a thrift store charity that sent its profits to Innova Fairfax Hospital. Enjoy the photos and please subscribe to see my photos as soon as they come out.